cause yet tonight, but we do now know now the, that a 71-year-old Missoula man died when his home caught fire last night. He's been identified as well. His name is Ken Richardson. The first responders on scene reported his double wide was fully engulfed when they arrived. It happened here near the intersection of Clements Road and Mount Avenue on the west side of Missoula. That was around 7.30 last night. Montana McLaughlin talked to firefighters and learned ice and freezing rain made it tough on fire crews. Montana? Yeah, well, Missoula Rural's fi chief fire investigator called this the perfect storm of unfortunate circumstances. It took crews nearly six hours to subdue the flames last night, and that was largely due to the weather. Fire crews put out hot spots nearly 20 hours after a fire that ripped through this Missoula home. Joy Kazir watched the scene unfold from her balcony. It seemed like about five seconds and there was like three fire trucks and a couple ambulances and everything here. Joy had just returned home from work Thursday night there even before crews arrived. When I first saw the fire, it was on that back part of it. It was just really in full flames and the windows on this side, all I could see was smoke. So I knew it had come on into the house. Joy saw firsthand just how tough conditions were for emergency responders. Yes, it was very slick last night, very slick. We had very tough conditions because of uh, dense fog, pure ice. Um, we're not in a hydrogen area and it was difficult for crews to navigate through the deep snow. Chief investigator Tim Sales told us three feet of heavy snow and ice on the roof were a challenge. With the icy conditions, hauling hose and trying to get into the structure was a, a great challenge. We had a heavy debris load inside the uh, structure. Fire crews added it wasn't just the homeowner who passed in this devastating fire, but two dogs and one cat also fell victim to the flames. And then as the closer I got, I saw the flames on the house and I thought, oh my God gosh, because I knew the, the people that live there. And Joy's family has owned the home across the street for 20 years and says Ken Richardson's kids lived next door. Yes, she was a wonderful, wonderful lady and she was taking care of her husband, wheelchair bound. Joy says flames were still burning when she went to bed hours later, but Friday morning she's just praying for the family. It's scary. It can happen so quick, you know, it just, you just don't know. And I can tell you firsthand that the smell out there today was still nauseating. This morning, a photographic team came by to document the evidence, and the coroner removed the body. Investigator Sale says he's ruled out smoking as a cause, but the investigation is still ongoing. Live in Missoula, Montana McLaughlin, NBC Montana.